you can have small glaciers, like typical glaciers you might see in Banff National Park or Jasper National Park. They're called alpine glaciers. Sometimes if they're, they're confined to a little bowl in a high mountain, they might be called a cirt glacier, but they tend to be small bodies of ice. Um, or you can have, at the other end of the scale, you can have these huge ice sheets um, that can cover continental size areas. And currently we have two of these on Earth, one in Greenland, called the Greenland Ice Sheet, and the other in Antarctica. It's called the Antarctic Ice Sheet, not surprisingly. But the Antarctic Ice Sheet is actually a composite of two separate ice sheets, uh, an eastern ice sheet and a western ice sheet. And there is a huge amount of water that, are, that is locked up in, in those ice sheets. If you were to melt all that ice you know, and return the water to the oceans, you'd raise sea level probably 50, 60, 70 meters all around the Earth. It's a huge amount of water. It's the largest reservoir of water on Earth, but it occurs in this frozen form. In contrast, our valley glaciers, or our alpine glaciers, are much, much smaller. They don't hold anywhere near globally the amount of water that we have in ice sheets. And valley glaciers typically form in high mountain areas around the world. In, in Canada, they occur in western Canada, in the coast mountains, and in the Rocky Mountains, and a number of other mountain ranges throughout the region. Um, there are very few in the United States because you're getting a little closer to the equator and um, it's harder to maintain glaciers under those more temperate conditions, but there are some. Uh, you get in, even in equatorial areas, if you get high enough, you can actually get glaciers. So there still are glaciers on Mount Kilimanjaro. It's, you know, a mountain that's some, I think, 6,000 meters high. Um, so there are small glaciers there. The ice sheets are a different matter. They, they can occur in lower areas. They're, they're situated close to areas where you either have extreme cold, as in Antarctica, or you have an abundant source of moisture as, the North, as in the North Atlantic.